Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about electronic control unit. It's also called as ECU. In the automotive industry, the term ECU often refers to an engine control unit or an engine control module. If this unit controls both an engine and a transmission, it is often described as a powertrain control module. Before start to discuss about ECU, first you have to understand some keywords. These keywords will be helpful for you to understand more terms in this video. Now we have start to discuss about what is an ECU. ECU is an electronic control unit. It's a small device inside a vehicle that controls one or several electrical systems in that vehicle. It tells electrical systems what to do and how to operate. ECU's core is a microcontroller and it is controlled by embedded software. An electronic control unit receives input from one or several parts of the vehicle and uses that information to take action if needed. For an example, an airbag ECU receives information from crash sensors and seat sensors. When there is a crash, the ECU decides which airbags to deploy depending on where passengers are sitting. Then it tells the actuators to deploy them. Then the actuators convert the electrical signal into physical value needed using valves, injectors or relays. Vehicle may contain over 100 ECUs that in addition to essential functions like engine performance and power steering, control comfort and security features such as parking assistance, memory seats and airbag deployment. Types of an ECU. Vehicle as having multiple ECU that are divided on what tasks they have to perform. Some of these types we can discuss now. First, engine control unit. It controls the engine functions such as fuel injection, ignition timing, and idle speed. Transmission control unit. It manages the automatic or semi automatic transmission functions, including gear selection shift points and torque converter lockup anti lock braking system it manages the abs system which prevents wheel lockup during hard braking and improves vehicle control airbag control module it manages the airbag system which inflates the airbags during a collision to protect occupants body control module it controls various body functions such as lighting hvac door locks and power windows. Electronic stability control module. It manages the vehicle stability by selectively applying brakes to individual wheels and reducing engine power during a loss of traction. Climate control module. It controls the HVAC system and maintains the desired temperature inside the vehicle. Instrument cluster. It displays vital information about the vehicle such as speed, fuel level and engine RPM. How does an ECU works? Each ECU typically contains a dedicated chip that runs its own software or firmware and requires power and data connection to operate. You can consider an example. ECU receives input from different parts of the vehicle depending on its function. We can take one example. A door lock ECU would receive input when a passenger pushes the door, lock or unlock button on a car door or on a wireless key bob. An airbag ECU will receive input from crash sensors and from sensors that detect when someone is sitting in a particular seat or not. An automatic emergency braking ECU will receive input from forward facing radars and that detect when the vehicle is approaching an obstacle too quickly. Then the ECU would then communicate to actuator to perform an action based on the input. We can take another example. In a door lock ECU, you would activate an actuator that locks or unlocks the corresponding door. And at the same time, we can take another example of airbag ECU, you would choose which airbag to deploy. And depending on the location of the passengers, and then direct the actuators to deploy them. An automatic emergency braking ECU you would engage the brakes to prevent a collision. And all these things will be taken care based on the input and which will be given to ECU and ECU will take the appropriate action. 
this is what i have explained here for an example how sensor is detecting and how it is reading an information how the power management harmfully taken care and how the software playing a major role ecu power management for the ecu power management the very important thing is like a power supply so how generally we are providing the power supply all those things will play a major role the ecu has many internal power requirements for the hundred of internal components to function properly in addition to this in order for many sensors and actuator to work the correct voltage has to be supplied by the ecu to components around the car for ensuring the power supply ecu receives power from the vehicle battery or alternator and voltage regulation so the ecu typically includes voltage regulation circuit that ensures a consistent voltage supply to the ecu and power saving features that is one of the very important feature when we are going to consider of ecu power management to reduce power consumption and increase fuel efficiency some ecus include power saving features like sleep mode where the ecu powers down when the engine is not running and wake up mode where the ecu quickly powers up when the engine starts how we can diagnosis of an ecu because whenever there is a fault inside the vehicle how generally the carriage guy will diagnosis an of an ecu basically these all are the steps they have to follow first one is check for error codes this is called as a bpc it will be stored inside the memory and diagno carriage guy will send a diagnostic job and it will it will it will read the response and based on that they will diagnose and check power supply for an example the kl15 or kl30 engine status and battery power supply they have to ensure it check sensors and check wiring whether the wiring is proper or not and whether the sensor is connected whether the proper power supply has given to sensor or not these all are the things should be properly checked and check output meaning actuators check software or firmware might be there will be a problem inside the flashed software or firmware that is also should be ensured properly so these all are the ways that a carriage guy can diagnose can properly find out the mistakes or the problem is in inside the ecu thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day